Welcome to the Chris Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Oh, let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know that I am a, uh, a AI catastrophizer. I don't even know what that means. Where I think AI is going to ruin the world. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You, and you made that clear. It's, it's also, it's, I mean, it's just getting more and more. Like, you know, fake pictures, you can't tell if they're real. Fake videos, can't tell if they're real. So the other day on, it was on, uh, I think on YouTube, there was an AI generated live stream. Uh -huh. And there was people sitting around, like almost like on a talk show, and they had an AI. The guy's name is Michael Saylor. I can't remember what he did. He's something involved in crypto. Mm -hmm. um, they had a, it was all a fake AI video, and he's in there talking and like whatever. And literally in the video, he's like, "There's a QR code." The guy Michael, they're faking Michael Saylor. He's like, "There's a QR code on the screen. S scan that. Send Bitcoin to that address. We'll send you double Bitcoin back." 100% a scam to steal Bitcoin. Yeah. It, like, YouTube didn't take it down for, like, hours. It was running for, like, hours. And YouTube didn't. YouTube knocks stuff off it for nothing. Like, this is literally a scam AI live stream to steal Bitcoin from people. Just chilling, dude. Like, that's what's going to happen. This is, this <laughs> that's is gonna, what's going to happen. It's going to become more. As much as people say we're not using AI for bad things, bad people have access to AI. Jonas, you do not like AI. I don't not like it. It's dangerous mm -hmm. as fuck, it man. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. I, I'm not surprised that YouTube didn't, you know, didn't take that down. Oh, because, me neither. Because it's very funny that YouTube gets me for like thumbnails that are inappropriate, but a live stream that's trying to steal cryptocurrency, you know, that's fine. Uh, I'm sure it didn't generate any any scams either. Nobody's gonna fall for that. Uh, but, yeah, nobody falls for anything. That's why they happen. I mean. <sighs> I, dude, how are you sitting up there? How do you get have the knowledge to get a Bitcoin, to obtain a single Bitcoin, but you don't have the knowledge to not fall no, for an AI not a scam single on YouTube? Bitcoin. Like they could have like point oh 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 seven Bitcoin, which is worth like a hundred dollars or whatever. Yeah, you know what that's, I mean? That's that's true. But still. it's not saying you had to send a whole bit. Whatever you sent, they would <laughs> double. And here and here is my someone who's been on the internet a very long time. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna date myself and say how long. Mm -hmm. Anything that is too good to be true is too good to be true. And you think no one giving away. No one's like, hey, send me Bitcoin. I'll send you double Bitcoin back. Do you really think that's real? Yeah, I thought you were talking about you feel like AI falls underneath that umbrella itself. What? Too good to be oh, true. Oh, no, I don't care about that. No, just like <laughs> it's just like. Oh. No, it's just. It's like all yeah. that people fall for dumb shit all the time. It's like, yeah. hey, I'm a prince from Nigeria. I'm going to give you a million dollars. You just have to put it in your bank. Do you really think that's true? Yeah. Like, I mean, they're getting creative, though, now, man, because now they'll send you text messages and stuff, and they're getting but, really creative. But if anyone's giving you free anything that's financial, yeah. no one's giving you free fucking money, dude. I whether it's money or Bitcoin or anything. That's true. I mean, the ones that just outright ask you for money are a little bit easy, um, easier to discern. As People far as still will send fake women gift Google gift cards and all sorts of shit because they think they're going to love them. It's all yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say, but like I said, the ones that are easier to discern are the ones where they outright ask you for money. The ones that like pose as a business, those ones are a little bit more like, like they'll be like, Hey, I just noticed that you were looking for car insurance. And I'm like, how did you text me? I was looking for car insurance and they'll be like, yeah, my name's blah, blah, blah. We have your information right here. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Yeah, you guess you know my name. Yeah, but that they're <laughs> selling you something. Uh, I, I don't know. I but, think that's a phishing scam. Well, right, that too. I but, think but, they're phishing. They're, still, as soon as I put my credit card information via text or some shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, same difference. But what I'm saying is, like, that's even, like, like next level, like you said. What I, what I mean is, like, it's just like, hey, I'm this model hot girl that matched with you on Tinder all of a sudden, and I mean, it's all, the same and then idea. I'm asking you to send me five hundred dollar gift cards on Google. Yeah. I it's mean, the same idea. Give yeah. free Bitcoin if I send you book. One of them is like, I'll sell you a business. The other one's like, I'll sell you the illusion of sex. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know, man. I just cannot believe.
I don't know, man. It was people are so easy to get scammed. Uh, nobody got scammed by that. I guarantee you, people got. Scammed Does it? By so that. I don't know how you. How did you? How did it make news? Did it say in the news article that was provided with the story that you I saw provided? it on Twitter? You saw it on Twitter. Somebody posted that it was going on, and I uh, went and watched a video of it, and like it literally was the guy was like, "Yeah, all you got to do is while this live stream's going, send as much Bitcoin as you want. We'll double it and send it right back to you." Like. Uh, yeah, Who's I, giving away free Bitcoin? No, I mean nobody's giving it away. Yeah. Nobody's giving it away. No, I, don't, I honestly don't think anybody fell for it. I think it's funny that it happened. Um, if somebody had fallen for it, then I think that would have made more. I news. guarantee you, someone did. <sighs> I that mean, shit happens I, all the time, man. <laughs> People are so dumb. That's like it's like it's like when like my grandma fell for like they called me like I need your credit card and she's like okay like. No, and they're doing the AI calls with that. Yeah, yeah that, like, that has been that's been happening thing. more and more. So people, people have people are so desperate for a little money. You can't blame AI for that. No, but people but are you using, do hate AI are using AI for nefarious reasons. You can blame the person who used AI to, to scam people. You can blame him, <laughs> her, whatever. Uh, your problems with the scammers. Yeah, of course. But AI is the conduit. Hey, I, but yeah, but look, man, you know, guns don't kill people. People kill people. I agree. All right. And I don't hate AI. I hate that what it's going to do to the world. It's going to happen, though. It, yeah. Did you hear about the, uh, well, this has happened at South by Southwest where they had like a, uh, they had like the slideshow going up and it was, uh, it was one of the tech like a uh, TED talk type of thing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And they were talking about AI is the future. And they were talking to actual other like heads of corporations or whatever. And they were like, AI is the future and you need to stop resisting. And like everybody in the audience started booing when that part happened. You're not alone, Jonas. A lot of people hate AI. I, I would wish, I wish you would quit putting that in my mouth. I don't I said it at the beginning I, of the episode. And, and I said, no, it. I said, no, I don't hate AI. I hate uh -oh. what, it, what it's, what it's going to do. Well, humanity. I wish you would stop hating black people too. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? I'd rather you say I hate AI. Holy shit. <laughs> like it's, I think AI technology Didn't is amazing. Didn't deny that either. Just saying. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but like it's, I just. It's the same, It's just the kind of the disgust in with the world in general. You know, it all kind. Right. Everything is just everybody's so greedy. Nobody cares about themselves. Like it's everything but themselves. It's like, and that, and I get it. It's no. I mean, I don't think it's any different. I think it's that the tools that they can use are getting stronger. Right. And we need to adapt more. Yeah. Well, I mean, I ain't falling for scams. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I would hope. So. You know what I mean? Like, but a lot I kind of people... feel like uh, I hate to say it's Darwinism, Jonas. But if you turn to YouTube and you watch a live stream of what is clearly AI guy talking to you, trying to steal your Bitcoin, and you lose a Bitcoin through that, month natural selection. All right, well, right. you deserve to have I mean, that like, going. It's, it's interesting because like. People, you know, people talk about like their credit cards get stolen and yada, yada, yada. I've been using the internet forever mm -hmm. and I have had the same debit card number for like 20 years. Mm -hmm. Never once have I had it been stolen on the internet because yep. I ain't putting it into suspect ass sites. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like. I have definitely put my code in those suspect sites and have, <laughs> people have tried to take money from my bank. It's been like, oh, do you want me to stop this? I'm just like, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, stop like, that. Indiana. Yeah. What am I buying in Indiana? Bro, and it's, it's like it, like I, I, I being a victim myself, Joan. Speaking from a victim. <laughs> okay, I want to hear this victim point of view. It was a really good deal on an Xbox controller. <laughs> of, All right, <laughs> that's a really good. Let, let, let me bro. let me just ask you one question: If it's too good to be true. Is it too good to be true? It was like 40 bucks. I was like, bro, I got to have that. That's 20. That's like 20, 30 dollars off. Yeah. It, I, that didn't seem too good to be true. It seemed like a really good deal. But either way, yeah, you got to be careful out there. Uh, and AI is not the enemy. AI kids it's, love it. It's not. It's, it's not the enemy. It's not. It's not the enemy. It's, it's just it's scary. Yep, it is. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Yep.